When you are in a survival situation, you need in a short time food. And you need food, which doesn't mean that you have to spend a lot of time for it and also doesn't spend too much energy for it. And as a normal person, you won't hand, hunt anything. So it has to be something which is easy to find for everyone, easy to collect and easy to eat without fire, for example. Today I want to show you a superfood which everyone can find, which is easy for collect and which gives you a lot of fat and minerals. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft and if you are interested, feel free to accompany me in the woods and I will tell you everything. Let's go! The perfect time for collect this superfood is now in the fall. And here in the background you can see beech trees. And today I want to show you how you can identificate beech trees and how beech tree nuts look like and how you can eat them. So let's take a closer look. People always say in Germany the oak tree is the typical German tree, but it's not because in the past our forest was full of beech trees. Now we always plant trees that grow faster like spruce trees or pine trees, but in the past the German woods was full of such gigantic trees. And you can recognize this tree very simple because it has a very soft skin. Sometimes it has white parts like here or some plants that look like moss growing on them. And now in the fall the leaves are start to get brown and then browner and then they fall to the ground. And beech trees can be several hundred years old and when you see a massive tree like this here, you can just imagine if this tree would have eyes, what this tree can see in the past, what happens here around this old beech tree. We search for beech nuts from a specific beech tree. It is in German called the red beech tree. And only this has the big size of beech nuts, which are very easy to search. And then we have um, several years. They are so called mast years. These are years where you found um, a lot more oak nuts and beech nuts than usual. And these are the Eldorado years for the wild boars because there they find much more food than usual. But it has, it is together with specific weather and climate um, situations if this year is a mess year or not. So they said normally around uh, each once in 12 years it should be a must year. When you have an area like here where the ground is clear it's easier for you to find the beech nuts because when you have an underground which is like here full of fallen leaves it is pretty hard to find the nuts under the leaves. So like here it's perfect to collect the nuts. Like by the horse chestnut, the beech nuts are growing into those hard shells which are uh, covered with something like needles 
and inside there are the chestnuts, but the chestnuts are also covered by a skin. So this is how they look, the cover and then their inside are mostly three or five, uh, four um, beech nuts. But if you found them, don't be happy too fast because like in life, there are a lot of empty brained <laughs> nuts around here also because worms also love them or sometimes when they just are not um, so what <laughs> okay it's bees and flowers and when they are not connected sometimes a fruit like this grows but there's nothing inside And the beech nuts are also included minerals, zinc and iron, and there are around 40% fat inside, which makes them for such an important survival food, because your body needs fat every time, and more in a survival situation to be fit and strong. And in the past, especially after the war times, people always eat them. So, and when they are times where they not have enough food out of the garden, out of the field, they are going into the woods and collect there something. And now this knowledge is science clearly forgotten. Nobody needs it anymore. But in the past, they also um, bring their domestic pigs into the forest to eat oak nuts and beech nuts that they are get fat very soon. And now there is also something bad about the beech nuts. Like oak nuts, you cannot eat them in a big amount raw. That means inside of the beech nuts is phagin included. It's from the word phagus, which means beech tree. And this makes that you have stomach age. But this is not only the only bad thing. They also included two other poisons, so you have to check because this is a, a not so easy English word. They include the slightly toxic substance um, alkaloids and oxalic acid and they uh, are included when they are rare. So they, this toxins can cause abdominal pain, headaches, and um, vomiting and cramps. So imagine you are in a survival situation, you find a lot of beech trees and you think, great, I can fill my stomach with them. You use the energy to collect them, you eat them, and then suddenly you feel unwell and you have to bring everything out again and that means you have just waste the energy, the time and you are very ill after the, you know what I mean. So, and because of this, they tell child should not eat more than three beech trees, beech tree nuts a day, rare, and adults around five. So, I eat often a lot more, a handful of them and nothing happened. But yeah, you have to be careful in the survival situation that you don't destroy your body more than it still is, you know. But you can eat them in a big amount when you do this.
if you heat the beech nut up, the toxics are destroyed. So you can eat how much you want. And you can do this in two different ways. The first is um, peel the cover off. It works very easy if you have a little bit fingernails. And then just put it in a pan and heat it up. The second way is put it with or without cover into boiling water and let it there be for a few minutes. Um, after the uh, beech nuts are in the boiled water, you can remove the cover easier, so if you want it. So, and then you can eat how much you want. So I don't get paid for it, I bought it by my own, but this cooker is just so great because everything fits inside this standard pot, also included a uh, um, lighter, so for ultralight tours it's just perfect. I will roast my beech nuts now and enjoy them. I hope you remember my words when you come in a survival situation. I hope not, but try it out before you came into a survival situation to eliminate them and try them. They taste very, very um, tasty. So um, you can also make flavor out of them or oil, but they include no um, gluten. So they doesn't is so spiky you have to also put other um, flavor to it that it works better so we enjoy our um, time there now in the woods a little bit more and eat them and i hope you like this video and we see us again in the next one have a great time bye bye